show you a copy. That was mean business. Black Beatles in the city, be back immediately to confiscate the money. Right, girl. Wow. My word. You said flowers, but you said you didn't receive. But you said like you didn't need them. That girl is a real crowd, please. Watch it fall slowly Frag girl still trying to get in Haters mad for whatever reason Smoke in the air, binge drinking They lose it when the DJ drops the knee Getting so cold I'm not blinking Okay, time for another uh, foam rolling Q&A session The first one uh, what was my workout leading up to the race? Uh, and how did I decide that? My workout was 2x400, 3x800, and 4x200. Uh, I tried to do most of it at 5k pace. Um, first two 400s. Uh, oh, and then my rest between was, was half the distance jogging. So for 400s, it was 200. For the 800s, 400. 200s were 100. My goal was to do everything at my goal 5k pace, which is around 120, trying to break 17, 120 is 1640. So obviously, that's way under 17, but just trying to get easy round numbers. Um, so the 400, first 400, I uh, hit 120, and then what I wanted to do was go a little bit faster for the second. And that's what I did with the 800 as well. So pretty much hit all that. Uh, all of it felt good. Um, Nothing really felt too difficult. It's more so just getting used to that pacing, especially on a track, which I haven't really done too much of. Um, why did I do that workout? Well, reading a lot, uh, Wetmore uh, stuff, um, Lydiard stuff, uh, really trying to figure out what works, what doesn't. Um, and then also uh, my coach, since I basically left college, uh, Coach Jonathan Kane. Um, I've done a lot of his workouts in the past, and, and he is pretty big on on uh, on certain things, and um, I chose that workout. And, and a lot of these workouts I've been I've been doing uh, have recently just been strength based. So I'm getting pretty good recovery on everything. Not trying to make anything too difficult, especially with the faster stuff. So all my recovery has been been good. Um, my heart rate's not too accelerated uh, when I start the next interval. Trying to keep it so that. I'm almost fully recovered, not maybe fully recovered, but still comfortable enough where I can start the next one. Um, and this one specifically, I didn't want to do too much work on. Um, I wanted to stay fresh for Saturday, so I wanted to get the pacing right. I did want to overexert myself, so I wanted to hit 5k pace, or what my ideal 5k pace would be, pretty much on point. So that's why I, I chose that. But shout out to, to John Kane. Um, he's basically taught me anything I've known uh, about my training programs, uh, what works, what doesn't. Um, so pretty much everything that I put together on my own for the last training cycle and this training cycle is based off of stuff that he's given me. So shout out to him and shout out to City Coach, City Coach represent. Um, all right, second question. Uh, oh, the SL20s. So I did not use the SL20s for the interval workout on Tuesday. Uh, I chose the racing flats because... Um, that is uh, well, what I'm going to race in on Saturday, so I wanted to make sure I was comfortable, make sure I felt good. And I did, felt fine, even though they're, they are a little bit older, they don't have a lot of miles on it, but they felt good. But I did run a pretty comfortable um, tempo run uh, today in the SL20s. I just ran like a four mile, a little bit faster, maybe a slightly delusional or ambitious marathon pace. Uh, around 620s for four miles, nothing too crazy, felt really good, felt really comfortable, didn't really feel like I was pushing it, um, and then finished it with about four 200s, I kind of guessed on the, 
not really guessing the pace, but I guess on the distance, uh, it was on a almost one and a quarter mile, uh, pretty flat loop of a reservoir around my neighborhood. Um, and so I would run the miles, the four miles straight um, uh, in the tempo, and then jog for about a half mile or so, just to kind of lower, make sure I was comfortable, and then try to uh, do 5K pace for the last 200s. So uh, SL20s felt good, different than the Boston's, definitely not as firm as the Boston's. Uh, they're a little bit softer. They fit really well. So at first I was skeptical. Um, on the warm-ups, I think I just didn't tie them tight enough. My, my feet are pretty narrow, and I think I just, because they're new, didn't really get the, the lacing right. Uh, but after my warm-up, I, I redid them. Felt really good. Felt like it fit right on my, my foot and never had to really waver too much on, on slippage or anything like that. So definitely good. I'm going to give it a B plus right now just because it's only one run. Don't really know how they're going to hold up. Don't really know how they'll feel for uh, harder stuff, longer stuff. Uh, so I will give a better update when, when I get into that stuff. But right now... B plus is pretty good. And last question, um, 5K. What's my current 5K time? Um, and and why have I not run faster? Well, um, in high school, uh, I'm from New York City. Still am in New York City. Uh, we aren't really the you know the, the distance crop of some other uh, areas like upstate New York, um, Long Island, um, West Coast. Uh, you get a lot of sprinters here. You get a lot of 800 meters, 400 meters. Um, don't get a lot of distance guys. So I, I did run a lot of different distance in high school. I was pretty good. Um, and But my, my distance time in relation to really good distance times for high school is not very good. So my best in high school was like 1730 and I was cross country. So uh, never ran on a track. In high school you normally don't. But 1730-ish uh, um, in high school. And then college, I just didn't run 5k. Like I said, I, I was more of a, a mid-distance guy. I wanted to run the mile, wasn't good enough on the college level to run the mile, so I ended up running the 800, the 500, which is a terrible event, uh, don't ever do, don't ever let anyone tell you to do it, um, and the 400, and after two years, uh, college running just, I, just, we didn't mesh, um, either because I was hurt, either because I didn't like what I was doing, I wanted to run more, I wanted to do cross country, uh, wasn't good enough to get on just because I wasn't responsible enough uh, to get all the mileage in when I needed to. I really slacked off in summer. I really slacked off on weekends. Um, didn't get those those good runs in now that I do now, uh, and I appreciate it now. And and again, I, I think I wouldn't have had the the ambition and then the drive to to run as much as I do now if I ran so hard in college. So that's a you know catch twenty two. What can you do? Um, but <laughs> long story short. Uh, 2010, 2011, I think, uh, I was running a lot more, and, and I was still pretty young, so even though I wasn't running a ton of mileage like I am now, um, I think I ran 17.04 and on a road race in Brooklyn, and that was my, my best time. Uh, so, got really close to sub-17, it got really close since, in the last year or so, I think I ran 17.07 in Connecticut, uh, and uh, probably could have run a little bit faster if I, if I ran a, a racing line a little bit better. But besides the point, um, trying to go sub-17, trying to PR uh, this Saturday on a track in Red Hook. Again, we'll see. Not going to be the end-all be-all if I don't. But I, I feel confident, especially after the last couple of days of workouts. Uh, yeah. So that's a uh, Q&A for this week. Maybe we'll do it again some other time. Today's training breakdown brought to you by uh, my niece's artwork. Uh, so Monday was a easy day after a pretty tough weekend, um, and then Wednesday uh, was another just standard uh, easy run. Friday was a little bit of a shakeout, and then Tuesday was a 5K specific workout. So tried to do um, true 5K pace or true ideal 5K pace, 120 for the first 400, and then. A couple seconds quicker for the second half. Uh, Thursday was just a comfortable tempo run, four miles at like 6.15, 6.20. Didn't want to deplete myself, but still have to focus on that marathon pace, so probably a little bit quicker than marathon pace right now, uh, but just wanted to do something that wasn't going to kill. And then I ended with a uh, four by 200, again, at 5K pace, trying to keep that pace locked in. And then Saturday, Saturday was race day.
Well, thought I'd be able to give you a little more footage, but realized as soon as I put my camera down and set it up, it died. So I apologize for that. This is the most footage uh, you'll get. Uh, 17.23 high for the 5K. 12 and a half laps around the Red Hook track. I did get to run with some folks, uh, two other people. Uh, they they really did push me through the first two miles and the last mile is just either a mixture of the heat, the 90 degrees, um, maybe the mileage on my legs, but uh, still felt pretty good. Um, basically ran 528, 529, and then fell apart and ran about a four, f uh, sorry, 543 or so, and then tried to kick it in the last uh, half, mile, uh, half lap. Um, like I said, overall, can't complain with the heat and the fatigue on the legs. Uh, always have to remind myself, I'm not training for the 5K, I'm training for the marathon. So this is just a stepping stone. Um, I want to say uh, more success to come. That's that's what I see it. More success to come. Someone told me today, uh, basically assume goal time plus 30. So goal time plus 30, uh, that gives me 1650, 1654. Uh, I can live with that. What do you do after a failed race? Go to middle of nowhere, Connecticut for a one week training retreat. The next week, all I've got is trails, trails, trails. And if I don't find fitness here, I don't know where I'll find it. All right, choices, choices, choices. Think we're going up. All this world. Run it, run it, run it, run it. I run, I roll.